all of us involved in Illuminati Motorworks have loved working on cars since we were just little kids. Uh, we've always wanted to build our own vehicles, race cars, high performance, high efficiency vehicles, and when this competition came along, it just seemed like a good fit. We sat down, seriously thought about it, can we meet the requirements of this competition? 100 miles per gallon, 200 mile range, sit for full size adults. So we started working on our designs, basic designs, efficiencies, uh, and, and aerodynamic drive. And we decided after about a week and a half to two weeks of working on that, that yeah, we could meet the requirements. Uh, over the last two, two and a half years, uh, we started with chalk lines on the floor and some spare parts. And we've gone from the basic building blocks of how they built stagecoaches, carriages, and the first uh, automobiles a hundred years ago to how they're building them today. We got a lot of stuff going in there. I had some misgivings uh, having been in the automotive field for 30 something years and the idea of a 100 mile per gallon vehicle, uh, Kevin helped me quite actually to understand that that's really not capable, uh, that today's vehicles aren't really capable of doing that in the way that they are currently constructed. Okay, then we need an electronic one. We need a digital. Electronically one, one that could. Yeah. We need a digital, we need something that goes mechanical to digital. When Kevin came and said, we're gonna build a 100 mile per gallon car, I'm like, yeah, right. But now that he ha with the ideas coming together from all of us to look at putting together an electric or an electric hybrid car i see it as it actually is coming to fruition I guess a concise list of what we have to have done between now and the 15th, other than the technical reports, would be mounting the clutch, brake, gas pedals, everything that hooks up to those, finishing the steering, mounting all the power electronics, getting our axles in, getting the software working, making the battery boxes, mounting the batteries, getting the battery management system working, running all the wires for it, opening the garage door, hitting the gas pedal, and hoping it goes forward. Um, uh a big part of why I'm continuing with this project has to do with my son, a seven-year-old son named Wyatt. Um, I like to get him over here as often as I can uh, to see the progress of the car, see how it's going, so he can see the changes that we're making and the, the kind of technologies that we're putting in. Um, he's been collecting Hot Wheels cars since he was about two years old, and he probably has a couple thousand of them at this point. And he, he told me once that he thinks it would be really cool if if the car that daddy was working on would end up as a Hot Wheel someday. Um, that kind of really hit home for me and, and it, it is cemented you know in my heart that this is this is a project worth doing not only for the benefit of on a global scale as far as um, fuel consumption and things like that but also on a personal level uh, it means a lot to me to have a seven-year-old kid who most people know their attention span doesn't really stay on one thing for that that long uh, to have a seven-year-old always ask about how the car's going and, and express his feelings on how much he wants to see it done and how cool it would be to have a project that I'm working on turned into one of his favorite toys, um, it's, it's really a driving force keeping me going on this project. Well, the thing that you, you can be a proud of in a situation or in a project such as this is being able to say, hey, we did it. Uh, people say that you can't make a vehicle that's going to get this type of mileage the way we're doing it. There are a lot of skeptics uh, don't believe it can be done, but we're out to prove that it can be done. Go out and you complain about the uh, price of gasoline that you're having to pay and how why it fluctuates all over the place, why it went up to over $4 a gallon. Why complain about it? Now go out and do something about it, and that's what we're doing, is we're going out to do something about it. We went to this conference, this summit, with uh, uh, great concerns. We know we had passed every point up to, uh, all, the, all the key points up to there, now we're going to see our competition. Well, we saw the competition.
And as I like to say, uh, because I saw it in the other guy's eyes when we walked away from there, we went in nervous and we walked away smiling. We are on par or above the level of the competition. We can either meet or beat everyone there that we met. We are now even more confident than when we went to the summit that this competition was designed for us. We are the ones that are going to build the 100 miles to the gallon car and bring it to you.